March 5th. Time is 11.32. Um, I wanted to share with you guys again, uh, somebody I was speaking with earlier, didn't, she said she didn't quite understand what I was talking about when uh, I was saying about walking in the Spirit, how Jesus Christ said, follow. He said, follow him. And some people said, well, he said that while he was alive. Well, he also said it while he was in the uh, in the spirit. That's why I say if you read chapter 21 in John, chapter 21, it'll clearly tell you that uh, where he said when he was when he came up on those guys fishing. And he told him, he said, cast your nets onto the right side and you will catch something. And the one disciple that Jesus, Jesus loved the most, he told him, uh, he goes, it is the Lord. And Peter put on his outer robe and jumped into the water because he knew that it was the Lord. Okay, but now when they got there, when they got there, they seen it wasn't him. But they dared not ask him because they knew it was him. They knew it was his spirit that was in that man. Okay. Yes, Jesus said those that um, do the will of his father um, would follow him. Okay. Follow him. Not what's in the world. Now, following him then when he was here, how many people were following him? How many? They weren't. They weren't following him. He had his disciples following him then. When they said, your brothers and your, and your sister and your mother are outside to see you, he stretched forth his hands to his disciples. And he said, those that do the will of my father are my brothers and my sisters. He didn't say everybody out there. No more, look at what's going on in the world. You know, I don't call those my brothers and my sisters, the ones that are uh, of the world. They're just not. And it's not just a perverted lifestyle. Anybody that's really of the world, that loves what's in this world, the love of the Father is not in them. It's that simple, you know? And there's only five whys. I mean, I, I try very hard to get people to understand this. <clears throat> Jesus said, follow him in the Spirit. How about the rich man, the wealthy man? He said, what should I do to inherit the kingdom of heaven? He said, sell everything you got and follow me. And he walked away, didn't he? Walked away. Couldn't do it. And then what did Jesus say? He's about the rich man, people, wealthy people following the Lord. He said it'd be easier for a camel to enter the kingdom of heaven than people with money. Because they're of the world. That's exactly why he said that. Okay, now when they were, and he was in the spirit, he told Peter... When he was in the spirit inside the other man and Peter was asking the Lord, what about him? The one that the Lord loved the most wanted to know how he would die. And Jesus said, if I want him to tarry till I come back, what is that to you? He said, follow me. Now you got to remember, he was in the spirit now when he said, follow me. He wasn't going to follow that guy because once he left that spirit, then you know, he moved on, right? He moved on. He was in the spirit. What did he say was he was going to send down as a helper? His spirit. The spirit. That's the spirit that dwells within us. And a lot of people are having a hard time, I guess, understanding that. Okay? You got to get the spirit inside of you. That's your oil. That's your lamp. That's your fuel that's going to get you out of here. If you're hanging on and you're attached to what's in this world, there's going to be many people that are going to be called foolish. Many are going to be called foolish because they couldn't let go. You know, they couldn't let go. It's like that bungee cord I told you about. I've seen it stretching. They're just still trying to hang on to what they got in this world. And uh, I'm telling you, you need to let it go. 
And there's only one way you're going to let it go. And there's only one way you're going to start seeing what's going on in the world. Whether he was here alive or in the spirit now, it doesn't matter. If you were walking him while he was here on the earth, following him in the spirit, you would have seen what was of the world was of the devil. You would have seen it clearly. And if you're still walking in the flesh today, you don't see what I'm talking about. You can't see what I'm talking about because you're still walking it in the flesh. There's only one way you're going to see it. When I, when I walk around and I look at everybody I see, they're all blind. You see, when I was in the uh, store the other day, I was sharing with a bunch of people walking through the store in there. I seen that one man standing in the middle of the aisle right there, standing up against something, and he was watching me. I seen him right away. Right away. He stood right out to me. You know why he stood out to me? Because he was watching. He was doing exactly what the Lord said to do. Watch. And you're not going to do that when you're in the flesh. You're not going to do it. When you're walking around in the flesh, in the world, being worldly, you're not going to be watching. You're not going to be watching. You're going to be busy with what's in the world. That's why everybody's doing everything as fast as they can do it. And the devil's keeping you busy, too. And other people, they're getting so busy, they got to cheat. You know, in order to get better, busier than the other people and make more money than the other people. You know, they got to offer you something more better than that. And then... There's just so much scheming and scamming going on. It's just unreal. Unreal what they're doing. Your phone plans. If you call up about something and they change something, even though you were on a good plan, you lost your whole plan, not even knowing, you know, that you were deceived. You know, if you got a plan on your phone, you better not mess with it because if you call in with a problem about anything, um, They'll take you off that plan in a second. If you if you go in, uh, you got insurance on your phone. And you go in and you cash it. Up, you 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 get a new phone because something happened or whatever. Your phone's no longer under insurance, even though you paid for it and you're still paying for it. You know, I've had that happen to me too. And I said, well, I'm still paying the same price for the insurance. There's so many ways they're scamming people here. This is one big scam here, you guys. Everything here, it's a scam. You know, workers of iniquity. That's why the Lord's coming back here, you know, the, to disclose the blood, all that. The affliction, the lies, the deceit, the adulterers. Um, all these things that are of the world. That's why I'm telling you, you have to let these things go. I'm telling you right now, that dream I had where I seen those bungee cords pulling, stretching, um, that's where people can't let go. And I'm going to tell you, you won't let go neither. If you can't walk in the Spirit, and that's following the Lord in the Spirit, being with Him, you, you won't even begin to see what's going on out here. You won't begin, begin to see it. People couldn't follow Jesus when He was alive. His disciples did, but he had a lot more people, and they said his teachings were too hard, too difficult. And they walked away. You know? They ended up crucifying him because they, they couldn't cope with it. And look around you today. How many people do you think today could cope with it today? They don't want to. They love what's in the world. They don't want to let... <laughs> They don't want to let this go. They're not going to let it go. That's why I'm telling you, very few people are going to escape this. Very few. Very few. Dark days.